Hey Soul Poor Collective, welcome. Today the sun got rock at pulling at my sleeve. <laughs> I was meant to do this reading a while back, but I just didn't feel like it. But now it's like, no, let's do it. So, with no further ado, you have three paths to choose from. On the screen you can pause and just use your intuition. Always. And from the images on the screen or the timestamps below. Group number one. I swear the the way I've been doing these piles has just been weird. It's like getting out of the routine, doing things differently. So I think that applies to you here. So welcome. We have the sun god Ra joining us today. And the, what is the sun energy wanting us to know right now? Hmm. Okay. So what is the divine... Is, this divine presence within you. Are you a writer? Do you write light codes? Because I feel with the Arcturian light codes, with the I am presence, with the light body activations, you activate others, you write light codes. You could just share light codes in terms of energy, just putting it out there. Or maybe you need to start doing that writing like codes in a you know human way <laughs> hmm. yeah you're definitely like a light worker star seed uh, awakened awareness let's see what this energy wanting to say because it's a lot of abundance here the abundance of energy an abundant energy and feelings yeah i got some self-care cards so right so you got that feelings and it's saying healing begins with feeling be gentle with yourself and tender with your heart you are in a healing phase that was in pile number three as well something with healing but it's like I'm in alignment and in tune with my feelings and emotions and I'm accepting them like whatever was heavy is being brought up to the surface for you. So this sun energy, this presence is helping you clear them out and to be able to flow with the clearing more easily. It's like it feels heavy and it feels dense. So like all this density, this hardship, the unclarity, the lies, the illusions are being shown to you from whatever was the past. And you're needing to accept that it's gone. Or like they're coming to the surface. So you're needing to flow with them being released. That's interesting. We always have work to do in the astral. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. Endless opportunities. So right now, I feel like in your life, there's a lot of good news coming in. And a lot of happy news coming in. By the way, I'm, I saw a 332 and 333. So that could be you with your spirit guides. They do want to let you know that endurance is the key to success, although it feels like you've endured a lot, you see, to the point where you could have been down and broken and thought that you were down and broken, but then you found your path and you saw that you've always been on the right path because your past experiences made who you were today and without them you wouldn't have the tenacity you wouldn't have the determination you wouldn't be at the top of the game if it didn't go through those so, so this is like more of an assistance assistance of energies towards you 
so that like you're being sent lots and lots of light codes and energy so that you can rise on your path it's like before you have been constantly put down constantly being dragged by energies and all that but it's like you found the universe the secret to the energy the secret to the universe the secret to the magic so you're embodying that you're welcoming that in you're welcoming this energy of the pure light energy so you have the power to make yourself better at all times you have the power to heal yourself it's just a change in belief I do feel like all is well. Maybe there's a connection to pile three. So who knows? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what these energies wanting to say. Okay, so the sun energy is wanting you to put your work out there. It's wanting you to get on. With the soul writing, I, I asked, are you a writer? It's not just that, but you're meant to create products as well. Some sort of product here. I feel like I'm speaking to myself as well. It's like, hello, this is for you too. Thank you. <laughs> but the energy field around your crown chakra is immense. It's like you're wearing a crown from the song god himself. You are, it feels like this powerful angel energy where you're blessed by the energy of the gods, the original gods. That were once on earth? Or they were seen as gods? I just think they're aliens. That had, you know, unique abilities came here. And everybody saw them as gods. And be like, oh, hallelujah. It's like, you came here to learn how to write a story. How to engage with humans. How to engage with people. How to tell even their stories. How to tell a story to them. But in a way where they can see it through their window of perception. You have a very diplomatic approach to that. And so even in your back, I see a lot of protection. And at your feet, I see an opening. So it could be a door opening or like a portal opening. Maybe like you've been after traveling somewhere. There's an order happening here. It's like the um, triangles here. I feel like it's a staircase and so this staircase you have been placed upon it so that it can take you higher to your goal so you're being supported to your goals it's like your end goal but you're here to enjoy the journey so I feel you are on this journey where you're enjoying more of creating and the end goal is not even the end goal the angle is mainly you enjoying this moment, this present moment, where you get to create, you get to engage, you get to connect with people, you get to connect with minds, you get to change lives. You get to change your whole life. Okay, so you're in a phase where you're exploring yourself internally, in terms of emotions and energy, in terms of who you are and who you want to become. So it's like you've already whispered. This is who I want to be. You made a decision. And you know that somehow you're not in the right place at the moment. I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> it's like I'm supposed to be somewhere else. So that is happening for you. So that you can take a leap of faith. And then to quantum jump in a way. Like no. Nah, like timeline shift could be. Or move in a new direction. Move a location for some reason. Because you're meant to be in a space where you're free of other people's influence. Either that you're realizing that. It's like I want to be free of people's influence. I have clarity. I have vision. So with love and compassion. It's like you're embodying this angelic self. This angelic is like a crystal I see. Like a crystal heart. Okay. I do see the lotus flower. There is some sadness with uh, the awakened awareness it's like you were sad for a little while or maybe there was just this heavy dense energy that felt like man this is too much if people have this type of energy then how am i supposed to handle it 
Well, it's being cleared out, okay? So you're being renewed. Um, whatever past pain or trauma has been coming up, it's, like, it's hard to accept, but at the same time, I see you taking action on releasing that. And if not, then that's what you're meant to do. You have a really good vision about your future. So it's like you see already how your future can be a happy one. So choosing your future, a better future for yourself. But you have to choose better thoughts for yourself too. For someone here. It doesn't have to be for everybody. But with the remembrance, you are needing to remember that you still need to write your life. Okay, you at any time can rewrite your life, can rewrite your reality. That's what it's about here. It's about your reality. And you becoming your beautiful self here. Mm. Because you're exploring who you want to be. And it's a very beautiful self, by the way. Because you have a lot of love and compassion and the angels are saying... You've been so compassionate and so loving towards everybody else. Everybody, well, where did that game from? <laughs> and it's as though you, they're showing me this jewel of a, a soul, jewel of a person who is finally speaking through their vibration and through their energy. So that is what has been happening which you've been working towards you're a duel and you've activated yourself and it's it's not even to the full potential of the jewel it's like it's mm, for people who don't understand it's like they see you as a threat and it's scary but like we're laughing because it's not we're just wanting you to see thrive so i do see you thrive in your industry in your career i see you thrive because you got the ancient dna here i i listen to what i'm saying did i see 222 two, two? i don't know <laughs> if you've been seeing 222 two, two, i feel like it's regarding the love coming towards in your life that you're meant to be loved and that you deserve to be loved you already love by this energy this angelic energy that protects you and speaks so well of you. <clears throat> There's something with a tree. Did you dream of a tree? Because I dreamed a tree last night. It was a cherry tree. And it was blooming. And the cherries were like getting ripe. Juicy and red. Vitality is about to come into your life. So you know. I mean, de -de 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 -de, it was not all for nothing, man. Your divinity speaks for itself. Just sing. I don't know, dance, sing. What's your favorite things? It's nobody's damn business what you do. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like embracing this core. I see like an apple core where it has the seeds and then you can plant the seeds. But is this juicy apple that I'm seeing? So I don't know if there's something with the apple here. But it is this juicy apple that's so good that you could make an apple pie with. Or you could just eat it like that. Because it's delicious. Maybe something about nutrition here. Maybe um, I heard high vibration nutrition. I don't know. I just saw a video recently. If I remember to put it in... Um, the description but the name of the woman is Elunia and I just thought it's so interesting and she was talking about uh, was it the Pleiadian high priestesses well they were talking about high vibrational food and um, if you had any questions about how to feel about food and like what your body says about food I hope I remember to put that link in God, re remind me to put that link in. Something about your memory as well. Your memory is improving. You're not in survival mode anymore. And it doesn't have to affect you that way anymore. It's like you've been healing so much from whatever you went through. 
it's like the neurons grow <laughs> It's like the electrons in your brain and everything. It's regenerating. And I just see you like boom. Like it's back to health. You're back to health. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> you are being act. Nah, you are activating. My body activation access in the divine within. There's a story here to be told by you. So whoever you are, yes, you're just meant to be someone that shares stories. You're meant to share particular truths so that the world can change for something better. It's like changing the timelines, changing the 3D world, although it's not your work anymore. Could be if you're a great worker. I don't know. That's your that That's your thing all right so you got played in activation and we've got the actorians here so evolutionary downloads recalling power of future thinking hmm. coming together how many in the heavens resolution i do feel like you've come to a resolution with the pleiadian guidance here that with pleiadian energy which always gives me this cool collected energy where you're being grounded with ease and it feels like my body temperature is at the right body temperature i don't know if that makes sense but it's like i'm at the right place the right energy the right alignment i'm in tune i am i just simply am like i am presence here with the pleiadians and then with the arcturians hmm. There's like a lot of energy coming from them, from the Arcturians, from the sun, yeah. Now we're in the future. Now we're thinking differently. Now we are smelling the energy of the truth and the vision that is meant for us to happen. We are creating the vision that always was, that was distorted. And the vision that we are meant to keep alive. Awaken within your throat chakra. Awaken within your heart. Awaken the eagle. The eagle spirit that is within you. So that you can bless others as others bless you. I see the divine cosmic spider here. I was channeling for a second, so I was like, hmm. and I see it's like in the womb, but also in the the universe's womb. And then it's like, hmm, it's like within something, within a cellular system. Cellular, cellular. It's like at the temples. There's an energy that goes, it's like going through the temples. Kind of reminds me of telepathy. I guess that's what they're meaning. So many of you have telepathy. Or you're connecting with the Arcturians in some way. Maybe you're receiving downloads from them. As well. <clears throat> My compassion remembrance. You're starting to remember your divine self. And you're opening portals. Like, no, you're going through portals through that. It's like finding your divine self. I do see, again, I see the food, the high vibrational food for you. You know? But yes, you're meant to really do this writing work. I don't know what that's about. Could be just lyric writing. Could be a book could be an article, could be news, it could be like being a journalist, it could be even speaking as a star. Like, I see someone here that's like a singer, or you know, like a some sort of singer influencer, I don't know, that are meant to change something within this industry i know i talked about it in some of my past videos but okay anything else 
accessing the divine within. It feels like you were lost for a while, but then you found something. You found your hope to hang on to, and now you have a very positive perspective towards things. So that helped you greatly. Although you still have some pain in your eyes, <laughs> pain in your soul, that kind of closed you off to humanity in a way. But I just see you being healed by the sun energy. And soon you will see, you will see that everything is well. Okay, so we have the feelings here, uh, which I talked about. So being gentle with yourself and with your heart. Okay, then we got friend. You had to let go of a friend. Or well, maybe someone had to go away from you. But it's more like, yeah. Be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. So this is about you being good to yourself and you nurturing yourself and catering to yourself and not overgiving constantly to others. This is about you not being lost with the lost souls. The lost souls need to bond their own business. It's like you have been catering to a lot of lost souls. They do not want to do the work. And so you're being advised to move on. Go to the sun. Go to the sun. Follow the sun. You see you are being... See, she has a bird whispering here. So you, you're being advised by your spirit guides to introduce more self-care. To take care of yourself. Of your perspective as well. For some reason, it's like you, you need to make up your own mind about something, about a friend even. You cannot feel like you give all the time and then you receive nothing. You have to be here for yourself and you have to be steady in your judgment. I know it's like you blamed yourself a lot and you were guilty about what you did, but that's just from that particular lost soul it was their emotions they don't have intuition for shit they just like lost absolutely lost and it was never meant to be in your life i mean you've went through a journey where you have been giving and that has served you but now you're meant to receive more than you've been giving so it's like getting into the heart space with that and actually tasting the sweet strawberries you see yeah. I saw three, three, it's like three, 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 four, 34, or three, four, four, three, four, three. <laughs> right? You're meant to be a better friend to yourself. I don't know, just make up with yourself for some reason for some of you and then you got abundance i mean listen with the internal explorer the more you find yourself the more abundance is coming in i do feel like you're connected to the abundance energy and you see you got the dollar signs and you could be there could be something for the a portal being a thoughtful steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance when you trust yourself to handle more that's when more shows up you see, yes, this is about your abundance that you're starting to trust. And also um, the energy. And I saw 444. Let's see. Um, hold on. There's like a siren somewhere. Ooh. Urgent news? Something about urgent news. Interesting. Yeah, so with the abundance, the way you attract more is by always saying, I circulate money. I circulate money. I have money flow. I have money cash flow surrounding me. I am in alignment and I flow with my abundance. So you could be saying something like that. 
the way more money shows up is when you trust that more is there for you and when you see beyond the illusion that there isn't enough you see how would i explain this bird so we can make it clear more shows up when you see the energy within yourself and the energy of money so money is energy that that is all there is okay and maybe think about what you'd like your money your energy to go into and i do feel like it's yourself so treat yourself in a way where it's like i always have more than enough money it's like affirmating getting these affirmations within your consciousness so that you can practice this conscious abundance right conscious energy so whatever you have right now is getting more energy into that and being aware that wait hold on a second i have even if it doesn't seem like i have i have not got anything this is about your optimism here and ignoring whatever um, past limitations so if you're going to make up stories in your head about people in circumstances please make them love stories with happy endings so see i was talking about writing your story and writing a better one so you always have the power to change realities here i was talking about this but maybe it's your own <laughs> you're already in this energy and you have realized this about money and optimism and you not being putting down putting yourself down for not having or for things that aren't weren't being provided to you but it's like finding more love and f finding more loving energy or it's like i do deserve this i have more of this i am blessed <coughs> so you do have pleading an Victorian support here and angelic support that it's like uh, whatever business you have or whatever industry you're meant to be in it's like you're doing research right now and you're very intelligent in the way you do research so that will help you greatly and it's not even boring at this time it feels like i really like doing this and i'm in this energy where i can find out more and i can do it for myself it's like i don't need a lot i don't need all this mm, help that doesesn't actually help but it's like i can help myself i'm not helpless i'm not a victim like i'm not i'm smart i can do this for myself yeah that feels like it so please consider subscribing if you feel called to that greatly helps hmm also please leave a comment and a like that lets me know you've seen this and you're supporting me and you're here and you're listening so you know there's an energy exchange here in everything we do there's an energy exchange so please energy exchange <laughs> with a like and a comment <laughs> okay and i wish you the best on your journey and i hope you're well and you're doing well and whatever you're healing is for the best of your alignment okay so peace and see you next time hey group two welcome <laughs> so you've chosen this pile this group the image must be somewhere <laughs> So for you, I feel it's more about self-care here. Your evolution speaks volumes, but I do feel like I should speak about the self-care cards first. So we got ease here. So you're meant to have easier things today. I allow life to be easy. Press the ease button or you already did. So you press the ease button by you having your authentic truth so you've decided to be 
in your authentic energy and self and you it's like you made boundaries you made a discovery about yourself about your truth and it's definitely not that of the others i do feel you connect well with the ether with the gods with the dna with the frequencies of high vibration atlantis i feel like there's this technology that looks blue <laughs> and is within the sea there's something about sea salt here benefiting you or me maybe you getting some sort of energy cleansing maybe you need to cleanse your energy but also it's like a electric there's an electric energy within you you being really electric you focusing yourself on yourself right now with the water and the overflow it's like your cup is overflowing you have so much to give you have plenty to give and you've decided to focus on the colors in your life in your authentic truth and because of that the energy changed and so that's what it's it's attracting to you lovely people i heard higher vibrational people who actually want to support and give to you and i heard even donate i don't know whatever you've been doing so because of this authentic truth and you speaking it they do see you as this god energy where you know how to give and deliver where you know how to align with the heart but even when it comes to clearing out it's like you know how people say that Eminem is the rap god well they could say that you number two group number two you're the divine god of clearing cleansing and sharing of the it's like sharing equally but also giving more than is asked of you you have been giving more than it ever was asked of you and it's pointing me to the solar plexus chakra radiant illumination so right now you are radiating this solar energy that makes you feel like a god if people see your aura it feels like this aura <clears throat> is shining through so brightly that they see the ancient tree within you it's like the ancestors the angels that origin god source energy is within you it's like your creation abilities at this time is immense in you choosing to focus on your own colors in you creating your own colors in a way so that could mean your projects in a way but maybe it's like your creations you you focusing on your creations at this moment in time where you flow really well with and you're meant to be a guide here but you're just being that you're a natural leader you're a natural guide and it's like i see you relaxing more and more and because of this relaxing energy you're receiving more and more here okay so um did i yeah uh -huh. so i do think there's um something about your energy here so there you go and stop trying to please everyone everyone is a whole lot of people protect your energy so you're being asked to protect your energy and you stop trying to please everyone to overcome you first have to climb so it seems like you've overcome this and you've arrived at a portal where it's self-love where you pour into yourself and of course you have a lot to give but you like being in this energy where you'd rather just bless strangers than people who are close to you in a way 
because the people who are close to you, it seems that they've always taken way too much. And I know there are people close to you that have poured into you as well, but it's just that it was never at the same frequency. And so it seems that your energy is always transforming people, even triggering them. And I feel you need to enjoy a nice hot cocoa. <laughs> so that could be zinc, magnesium. No, actually magnesium. Yeah. Uh, you need a boost of energy, by the way. Yeah. You've done a lot. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. And it feels like you're in a resting and healing period where you get to get your zap back. I was like... <laughs> I don't know, but it feels like you're about to zap people with some sort of shock of energy. It's like you're meant to be in the spotlight here. And I know there's some energy, the sun god. I was, uh, you know what, I, I don't even know where this video is going, but <laughs> it's, it's like you meant to be a star, like an actual sun to people, to this earth. You have the energy of the sun within you. Your life plan is unfolding as it should. So whatever plan you put in place as your soul self, it is going accordingly. Nothing less. No. You will never receive less than you deserve. Because you're very much in alignment with all the points, all the stars that need you need to get there. And I see you getting there. Okay, I see you getting to that place where you're sure of yourself. So I do feel like there was like a reality being shattered in your life. And you're like, whoa, this is... I'm being pointed to Madam Web again. I know I mentioned that a lot, but it's just a cool movie. I'm glad they did it. I know some people don't agree with that, but if you actually see beyond the selfish reasons, you will see a lot of information. Like, you'll awake until a lot of information. So you got the temple of truth here. So I know there's something about you speaking your authentic truth and you sharing and lessening the burden that was in your life. <clears> Throat chakra, authenticity, self-expression. See? The, the moment you started speaking out, it's like the flood of truth has been going through the gates. And you can't stop. Self-expression is a big thing for you. And espe especially authentic truth. Concierge. I don't know, it's like you're in divine in a divine cocoon and a divine protection. Okay. Hmm. People appreciate your honest truth. People appreciate you being a portal, you being a light, a divine guidance. But you see, with the full spectrum there, just being still, I feel, you having everything you need, but being still, gathering the knowledge, and using it to your advantage, and I'm being pointed to the heart, so with the stargate heart here, heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity, you've been more than generous. You're being praised for that. But so with the Stargate heart. Hmm, you're unlocking a new level of heart chakra. A new level of emotions. A new, new level of feelings. I mean... Yeah, you could watch... Um, what was it? I forgot the name. You see... What was that uh, movie with the emotions? Oh my god. What was the name? <laughs> it was like a second movie with all the emotions with Riley. I remember her name, but I don't remember the movie name. Great. 
emotions I don't know I, you see I cannot remember but maybe you know what I'm talking about <laughs> I got distracted there for a second so maybe you're meant to be in a space where you don't have to worry about anything you're just being so this heart stargate heart a portal to the heart space mm -hmm. and lemurian seed codes embracing sensitivity uniqueness leaving living with grace something about you cleansing your crystals <laughs> cleansing your house and your space is needed here maybe you did that the old cannot hold you anymore like they cannot hold your truth they cannot hold your full self they cannot hold your light then they cannot hold you back you've already flooded the gates that's what I'm hearing mm, there's something not hidden but something that you're working behind the scenes and it's something epic i mean in your mind it's already successful but it's gonna blow it's gonna blow universal love is true love so love all there are m people meant to love you and i know sometimes you've seen yourself as small and like not something huge or maybe people have been looking down on you but the fact is you're a whole ass soul and they cannot contain that they think they're bigger i don't know it feels like i'm just laughing at this energy because it thinks it's bigger than you but it's not listen you've been <laughs> taking risks here like you've been really taking a chance on you so take a chance every risk is a success when you're committed to learning and growth so this is about your learning and growth as well and i yes you've been climbing climbing <laughs> climbing <laughs> climbing to your success okay you're at the gate like you're in this portal and you're just waiting patiently, I see. Receiving love, this love. It's like some of you don't really fully trust that this love is actually being given to you for many reasons. But I do feel like someone that's confident, someone that is knowing of what they have and of their inner love. But you see, just focus focus on your list focus on your goals focus on yourself if you focus on what you don't want there's a good chance you might get it focus on what you do want instead so i do feel like focus on the things that make you feel good and especially if it's a vacation i do see a blessing of a vacation here and you relaxing maybe a new animal maybe a new cat i don't know why <laughs> the energy is saying that is the sun energy wanting you to know it's wanting you to know that the gates are open and this immense amount of energy is coming through in a new earth like in a new hmm, it's like new conditions are being provided for you not like conditions like limiting things but conditions like I don't know a house like the things you need something being provided here for you and it's like it may not be much but it's yours also something about you not wanting to be in a place like you deciding hey i i know energetically i'm here so you moving into a more authentic truth and speaking out about it and be like hey i need to go i need to move so um uh, you can deal with your own stuff it's like you don't have to f mm -hmm. yeah it's calling me out so um <laughs> uh, it's like kind of being afraid or guilty for leaving someone uh because you need to go and it's like moving on and it doesn't matter if they get upset but i feel like they'll be understanding if you just speak out see and 
I do feel like you're meant to embrace more of your unique self and the world has something to see, you know, if you do that. Leaving the grace. I do feel like you're having more to benefit by just being yourself and the spirit is encouraging you to be yourself. I see like a game level up and you're leveling up your game so within this energy you're receiving more codes i see or maybe a code activator it's like in those games that you have certain codes and you tap in like a i, I don't want to say cheat code but like a code and then you receive some extra stuff or like you know you get into the game and you can use a lot of things you're getting ahead of the game that's what i'm hearing okay so sweetheart take care of yourself okay i hope this served you in some way i do feel like you're meant to activate crystals when you buy crystals do you activate them there's some sort of crystals you need to work with because is in, there's something in your unique way the way you do something uniquely helps you provide large amounts of energy to a cause even you taking care of a cause or participating in a cause that helps our children but just people and mental health in some way in Lemuria, Lemuria was always about helping each other, being in alignment, having, you know, working with crystals, having telepathy, knowing what the other needs. It's like being provided and provided, provide people without them having to struggle. Like there's, it's the end of a struggle here because of your authentic truth because you've been in your authentic truth and decided to explore this is your evolution we're talking about this is huge you've decided to do this so you're moving forward immensely if i could say okay i think i'll end it here i think there's a lot of abundance coming to you as well but it's more because you're allowing yourself to receive. So, please think about subscribing if you feel called to. You know, whatever your intuition says. It's not for the weak hearted. <laughs> okay, and um, a like and a comment. It lets me know that you're here, that you've seen this, that you've resonated, that you appreciate the amount of work I put in. And I, through this, I see that you are here. You know, that you're, you're exchanging energies. And that you're willing to exchange energies, you know. Not finding any excuses. So, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a no BS person, you know what I mean? I decided to do this. Like, it's like you, energy exchange. I decided something. And I'm going to keep to it. Okay. Uh, yeah okay everything is in the description thank you for joining me i hope this enlightened you some way <laughs> but okay thank you bye group number three i laid out your cards you chose the image or the pile or the number <laughs> Okay, the sun energy wants to talk about your inner light and your alignment and how you're going through an initiation of self. So if you are going through some sort of dark moments that seem like it, you have the awareness to see through it especially with the aligned chakras here so what is awakening within you more likely more likely above you is the star chakra 
So you are connecting here with the stars. You are remembering how to fly again, how to be yourself again, and how to take flight. I heard in your endeavors you are meant to be a star. You do have the star seed elemental. So you working with the elements, embracing the energy from each element can help you either ground or transform. I do feel there is a high energy lurking around just wanting to be free. So a message here is you being set free from past traumas and you are realizing that the darkness is simply an extension of yourself okay you are going through a soul initiation here so light and dark but these are all you it's your light self and dark self and it seems there's a view and a vision here of what truly is in the sense that you have chosen to transform so whatever you're going through this retrograde i am filming in august 2024 so <clears throat> It seems you are meant to bring this abundance by yourself and to find this knowledge within. Okay, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality. You are transforming on a more intimate level in terms of energy. So you being the best version of yourself, you are starting... And you have started to be the best, <laughs> the best, okay, the best version of yourself. And with the vest, because he just came creeping in, with the vest, it's bulletproof vest. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like it's clearing out my throat as well. It's like clearing out. And I suppose this energy wants you to know that all is well. You got the Ask Your Spirit Guide card. They're saying you are not trapped within or out. You are not trapped. It, it is just an illusion. Many of you realize that, but many of you just need a reminder. Okay. But it's like there's something that you have been healing here with the alignment. And you have come into this energy of alignment. F knowing fully well what you are capable of. So I see the transformation in the star chakra here. You have brought in so much. Um, rising energy within you. That has put you on a path to constantly transform. See, because you got radical expansion beyond the mind. So right now, within this time frame, when you're watching this, with beyond the mind, your throat is opening because you must speak it into existence. You must speak your manifestations into existence. It feels like... <clears throat> Whatever you touch right now, you, it's like a warm embrace, a warm hug. Whatever you bring to the collective, especially because you got the crown chakra and the higher star chakra right there that is very much activated and very much upgrading at this time. You have a powerful third eye as well. I heard fellow star seeds. I just hear you are wanting to connect with the star family or souls, star seeds that could share the same, I don't know if ideals, but maybe just the same source knowledge, which many of us have within us. We're just needing to wake up. I do see that the people around you aren't fully awakened, but because of your energy as 
you step more and more into this higher vibrational energy that you already are on a different plane so we could say like in the I don't know, sixth dimension i heard you know the upper dimensions let's say that it's like you're finally upgrading higher and higher and the friends that you're meant to have is those that appreciate your high vibration and something to do with your inner child here they appreciate how connected you are to your inner child and how expansive you've been it's like they haven't seen you relax for some reason <clears throat> it's like you have constantly leveled up worked on yourself you expanded your mind your soul your heart it's like you've expanded the circle that you surround yourself with meaning you only accept people that are for your highest good and there is something or someone coming in here like an energy that is meant to protect you to support you and to be here for you so you i feel that you do believe in that that there is someone that is coming in and you have the intuition to know that they're here to bless you and there's an appreciation coming from your soul about a certain person or people here it's like you have so much gratitude in your heart and soul again it's like this transformative abundance you're like a light code yourself to be honest and you just by being this code you somehow embed this energy within others it's like you're an anchor i swear to god i'm just seeing a child in the card with the radical expansion it was like first at first it was the tail of the serpent then it was like an eight then it was like an infinite sign and now it's a child so i don't know how that resonates with you if it's a child in your life that absolutely loves you and they appreciate how much you protect them and love them you don't have to be a mother but if you are yeah it's like there's something else coming on the way like another some sort of child that needs your protection i know many don't want children or don't want to deal with children in a way in a sense but it's like you're very good with children and you have that energy that they feel safe with you <laughs> it's like even the naughtiest monkeys of children they just are calm in your presence because they feel they can trust you but more like they feel you're parenting they feel they are parented by you and some of them have come from some sort of other dimension here especially so that they could collaborate with you in this lifetime but now you need to take care of yourself of course of your children if you do have that but also of your inner child it's like you went ahead and took care of your inner child here as well so you see it's two sides that we can talk about i heard there's a star in your midst you're transforming into a star but there's also that concept of shedding the old skin and now you have renewed skin it could be regeneration it could be healing it could actually you physically on a cellular level actually healing if you are in some sort of this ease state your mind has been cleared i do see an eagle and so this eagle in your life has brought you a higher perspective it could be a sign your spirit guides or someone that acts like a spirit in this dense world i don't know if you have i don't, i wouldn't call it idol i would just call it angel for some reason <laughs> like you have an angel in your life or you are the angel in your life and other people's lives it's like everything is coming out the sickness i feel it like 
<laughs> within my stomach then the esoph esophagus and then out it's like i see the energy maybe you have started doing reiki or you know how to use energetic um healing so with your hands i suppose it's not that particular thing where bro get out of here <laughs> i'm seeing a movie i have like dvds in front of me somewhere and it's the, the movie armageddon i never seen that or maybe i don't remember armageddon interesting and then there's a message above it no like another dvd is just say go with it so i suppose it's go with the flow Something with the angels here, obviously. Michael, Gabriel. Gabriel is really present here. And Raphael with the divine masculine, divine healing. There's a masculine in your life that is an anchor, that is here to help. Well, not help, but that is like a healing anchor for some reason. It's just... They, they just are. Could be the energy within you as well. Doesn't have to be. But yeah. <clears throat> the energy within you. Maybe there's a change you have done to your hair. Maybe there's a change you would like to do to your hair. Either diet or, you know, chop it off. Chop it, I don't know, chop it nicely. You know, chop suey. Just step in nicely. <laughs> okay, your spirit guys are saying you are doing such a great job at becoming your higher self and integrating your higher self. It feels like you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. But you're not. You're not gonna die. No one's dying. You're transforming. You're initiating into a lighter body. I could say the crystalline body, but we most feel it feels more like a light body. Okay. <clears throat> Your initiation is changing now. So the the hall you were walking on it's lit up now and you're seeing plenty of colors. So there it's like the perception is suddenly changing because there's a source of light that has been blessing you of course you you have done the work but it's like accepting the source light within you whether before it could have been you you had a dark night of the soul maybe just one person i don't know maybe in the past it's like you can't remember the last time um, <clears throat> you felt really bad. Maybe you observed that you weren't feeling good. But I just see, wait, hold on a second. How much have I really transformed? It's like, how much have I opened up myself to love my heart, my mind, my perception? Like I'm open to much more than I was before. And it's that realization that brings in this integration. Hmm. It's like being more tender with your body, taking more care of it, and feeling like you are able to do more now, or maybe you are able to heal more now, because you're in a space where you're allowed to heal. It feels like you've been through a lot, so your soul is telling me that, Okay, with Ask Your Soul, there's a balance coming in here, and yeah, it's like a star alignment with your heart, and higher self, and higher chakras, so it's like the energy is starting to flow once again in the upper area, I don't know if it was blocked before, or... It was just too intense. The energies weren't just working in your favor. But there's this clearing that I feel within my own body. So it's like I'm being able to focus 
in the eye of my heart. It's like the apple of my eye for some reason. And I'm able to transmute and flow with the energies. I'm able to light thread. So take the threads of light and create a new light, like a new thing. So whatever creation you've been putting the work in, it's like you got chilled out by spirit. <laughs> okay. It's like you're chilling out and you're trusting. And within your heart, you are manifesting faster than you've ever done before. And so it's like this sunlight, the sun energy, the sun got raw, always speaks about. I do feel about clearing, but also about this happiness, this joy, this joy rising within you. <clears throat> you know the movie Elemental? You might want to watch that. It's very, very unique and very beautiful. I don't care about any other opinion, but this movie is genuinely... You can learn a lot from these movies. It's like they always give you confirmation. You know? <clears throat> Let's see. What else is the song got? Ra wanting to say. What is awakening within you? Because this energy is like something is awakening within you. Okay, start being healing codes. Important information. Wounds are healed. Recharging. Okay. You are recharging in some way. It's like... You're recharging with some sort of energy, with the sunlight. It's like you're taking in this, oh my god, this huge amount of energy that you're taking in. And it's like recharging a huge ass battery. Okay. Where you could light, I don't know, 50 nuclear plants, I don't know. Okay, at the beginning, like before opening, you know, the pile and channeling, I did hear 582 hertz. Please do research on that and see what it does. That might be significant to you, but right now I'm listening to... Wait, hold on. 528. Talk with God, meditation, prayer, music, receive the guide, divine guidance, love, clarity, and wisdom... Hopefully, this brings you also some sort of clarity or wisdom. I don't know. I'm just talking here, you know. Okay, so you've been accelerating really fast. It's like you didn't have time to think about how you transformed, how you regained your self-purpose, self How you regained back your power, how you called back your power. It's like you're on your way to be on a... You're already on this new earth. I don't know. It's like a new energetic earth that you've been placed upon. And it's not... There's no physical proof. It's just the energy that you feel. And so you'll be, you'll be in a better space physically, mentally, in terms of your happiness and joy. It's like you're tapping into this fifth sixth dimension energy even several i heard this angelic energy angelic being that i keep feeling here you're very much protected there's no need to fear it's like this energy is highly protective of you mm. then you got memories of atlantis spiritual acceleration progress technology you see you have the ank right there the ink of life. You got Atlantis in the back. So there's a merging here with your life, with the creation, with whatever technology you've created within you and your projects in your life are about to take a high turn. Okay. It's like you put so much detail into everything. You thought about everything. It's like you sorted things out before anyone was able to tell you anything. And it's just, you made a decision for yourself here to flow with this clearing. And then whatever you're building 
it's like it will be the life of many you will have followers in a way but more like just you'll be an inspiration to people in some sort of way where everyone is kind of allowing themselves to awaken to their own self to their own purpose a steady speaker yeah by the way for any information you can always ask your higher self your soul you have that intuition you have that access to the divine kashic records but if you'd like a reading i do offer those just check out whatever your budget is i don't know whatever you need it's on the coffee link so check out if you'd like a reading definitely others could help you with a lot of things but it's just your decision if you feel you need it but if not just access the energy within you sometimes it's okay to receive help and sometimes it's okay to just be helped awakening to a higher power closing hmm. okay so you see spiritual acceleration progress uh technology hmm. awakening to your inner technology i suppose oh well, let's see i have some self-care cards here i'm not sure if there's any other messages that are wanting to come through but beyond the mind seems to have a lot to say so let me just you see have shine here and it says don't dim your light the world needs your unique talents and gifts shine brightly so this sun energy is asking you to not put yourself in a box to be tiny it is asking you to step out into the world and let yourself shine i do feel like many of you are working on that i like being okay with that but it's whatever you allow yourself to to do the world does need your uniqueness so the world does need your uniqueness but just know that all is well and you see your patience is paying off okay You're, it's like hold on your patience is paying off and you're allowed to shine but you're about to shine in uh, whatever season you're in it is safe to wait so you've been patient you've been working on your patience and you're very patient at this time and it's like you're trusting <laughs> then we got time i don't think time ever runs out time spent worrying is time spent yeah for someone here you know with the be being the best version of yourself you haven't wasted any time okay you have invested in yourself and you've done a great job you see manage your time wisely meaning your moments are special each moment that you create with each person is special whatever you've been giving whatever you've been flowing with it is a special moment so nothing has been wasted okay then we got reassess okay so here i am seeing you're constantly asking yourself whenever there's a change or transformation what do i need to do for myself how do i need to change what can i do to have a better experience and if you haven't asked yourself that maybe that's something to think about you have the right to change your mind yes you do you can always change your goals your perspectives your manifestations if you don't want a manifestation anymore just say cancel clear delete archangel michael help me reroute to a new path or whatever energy you're working with but i do see that there's a better thought behind yourself you're putting better thoughts into your body and so if not then you're meant to put more happier thoughts into your body so that the body is not in a sick state in a disease 
is it's like thinking better about yourself right now being in this love energy where you're safe okay okay any last messages song god Ra? <clears throat> what is with the beyond the mind there is a course or a documentary that you're meant to watch or you've asked for something regarding that I, I suppose there's a lot of things that dr joe dispenza does and you could watch a lot of his things that could help you out to expand your mind if that's what you want and all the cast from um, the secret if that's what you want abraham hicks if you were looking for something like that but maybe you already know that but maybe there's someone new on the rise that could help you out so I do think that that information is coming towards you and will help you transform, will help you change your life, truly. And so don't dim your throat chakra either, don't, don't. You have to, it's like the throat chakra wants to go tiny, but no, it needs to be bigger and bigger. It needs to be comfortable speaking about everything. Maybe there's something you need to share here that you couldn't talk about before. Maybe it's your journey. Maybe it's your trauma. Maybe it's something that you weren't able to fully express before. But now it is. It's like Atlantis keeps coming in here. Maybe your memories of past lives are being cleared out. And you're not embodying the past anymore, but you're getting out of the past. So it's like the universe sees you and the universe supports you. The universe is your progress and is it is always by your side. It's not messing with you. It's not taking the mickey. It is just saying yes to whatever you're thinking. Okay? It's saying yes to whatever you're thinking and whatever you're wanting. It speaks through frequency and it feels your frequency. So if you're in a sort of a mind pickle, maybe you're getting out of that. But it's that you need, some of you need to change that. Change your frequency. Okay, be more patient with yourself. Let yourself shine, reassess your goals, your life. Get more into your heart space. Ask more of your soul self what needs to be done for you. What like, what's the best thing for me? What's the best that I can be? What is the energy that I can embody? How can I transform? How can I change? How can I be in a more alignment that is fitted to me? Like what's the best of my abilities? You know, it's like asking yourself questions. Again, if you need help, I'm there. Ask away. So with that said, please think about subscribing if you feel called to. Give me a like and a comment that lets me know that you're here and you're seeing this and you're supporting. I will see you next time. Bye.